All right, we're going to switch gears here altogether and talk politics. And the fight for the former ruling Jubilee Party has now drawn in retired President Uhuru Kenyatta, who turned up at the party headquarters today as rival factions fought for its control. The former president has apparently thrown his weight behind embattled Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni, who is locked up in a battle for the control of the party with a faction led by Iyala MP Kanini Kega. The former president appearing to assert his authority as party leader, saying Jubilee was intact and urging those that have switched allegiance to leave in peace. Jeremiah Kioni and Kanini Kega have been embroiled in a bitter contest for the secretary general's post. The court having directed the warring factions to first take the matter to the party's dispute resolution organs. Let's get more from our very own Jim Tai Gowin. The main entrance to Dick Dick Gardens in Kileleshwa area of Nairobi was for the better part of the day a beehive of activity. <laughs> Police having barricaded the entrance to block rowdy youth who were seeking access to the Jubilee Party headquarters offices. <laughs> the youth members of a faction that is seeking to dislodge Jembato Secretary General Jeremiah Kioni from office. The arrival of Yala MP Kanini Kega, who insists he is the bona fide Secretary General of the party, alongside other allied leaders, spurred chaotic scenes. <laughs> Police forced to lob tear gas to disperse the youth who are attempting to gain entry into the estate. Attempts by the Kanini Kega faction to gain entry into the party's office is futile. <laughs> As Jeremiah Kioni locked himself in and used his vehicle to barricade the gate, as more chaotic scenes played out, one journalist was injured by youth who were pelting stones at each other. <laughs> Despite failing to gain access to the building, the Kanini Kega faction was adamant that they were the legitimate officials of the party, saying they would follow the law to kick out Kioni. We are hoping that from today he will not prepared to represent Jubilee, he will not prepare to have this office as a headquarter because this office is also, also not gazetted as the official headquarter of Jubilee. And from today, Jubilee will not operate from uh, this headquarter. And these are the officials of Jubilee. I would like to look at Uhuru Kenyatta and Baba on the face and ask, did Sabina sacrifice for this party? And so if there's something that has happened, it is noble for our seniors to call us and have a chance to talk to us. I also want to appeal to the party leader you are our leader. It is important that you, you call all of us together. The party leader and former president Uhuru Kenyatta eventually turning up, saying they still held the reins of the party and admonished those he said were plotting a takeover. Mimi ni kwa hapa, kuthibitisha ya kwamba, sisi kama wana jubili, sisi ni chama ya amani. Na munajua ya kwamba, sisi... Wakati wananchi waliamua vile waliamua mwaka uliopita mwezi wa Augusti wengine wetu ambao tulikuwa viongozi sio tu wa chama wa nchi tukakubali huo uamuzi na tukaendelea na tukakabadhia wale ambao walishinda haki yao na sisi hatuna shida na hiyo lakini tunasema jamani pia Hawa wanastahili waheshimu haki yetu. Haki ya mtu kwenda kwa chama ana the one that the party that you want. It's your, it's your, it's your constitutional right. But you should not endeavor and even go to use extrajudicial means to destroy a party. The former president warned the police against being used to settle political scores and urged Kenyans to remain peaceful and not allow division to bring strife. We have our mechanisms as a political party with which to solve our problems and we shall solve them. And we shall have our meetings and we shall call our meetings as and when. And the membership of the party will decide the future of the party. Yes. And we don't need to be governed or to be ruled or to be pushed by police. or to be. We will make our decisions. The prolonged dispute over who are the bona fide officials of the party is currently before the party's disputes resolution committee and is yet to be resolved. <laughs> Chemutai Goin, Serizan TV, Nairobi.
All right, Goeen, thanks so much for that. Still on that story, angry residents of Kilo.